I'm back. Um, so I don't know if recording in the library worked, but anyways, welcome to this video. This is going to be a little library vlog and haul. And I got a lot of books. Um, I requested a bunch and then they all came in at the same time. So of course that always happens, but it's fine. So I'm just going to show you the books. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do this here. Actually, yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so the first book you saw in my um, TBR already it is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. I am pretty excited about this. I really hope that I like it because a lot of other people have liked it. So we'll see. Okay, then here's Maybe This Time by Casey West. This is going to be such a quick read. I'm really excited. I'm going to just dive into it and read it up. Can't wait. And then here's I'm Still Here by Austin Channing Brown. Yeah, it's much smaller than I expected. It's like a smaller book, but yeah, I'm excited about this one too. Okay, the rest are a surprise. Hi guys, I'm back from the library. I had to do some chores and just some things, so it's been a little bit, but I'm here with all of the books. I'm really excited to show all of them, and I really would love to just sit down and read every single one of these. So yeah, this is kind of, I guess, a part two to my February TBR. So I already showed this book, but I'm still here by... I'm still here. Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. Um, on my TBR, someone commented and said that they had read it and they said it was really good. Okay, um, this is one I'm really hesitant about. I wasn't and then I was and let me just show you. Okay, so I have heard very mixed things about this book. It's called The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. What first interested me is that I don't know if the author is... Oh, she is. Okay, the author is Canadian. She's from Toronto. And this is set a little bit in British Columbia and then a little bit in Alaska, or mostly in Alaska. But anyways, I just liked that it was set where I live. I think it's New Adult. So New Adult usually does have a lot more details in the romance department. So I'm hesitant, but I think I gathered that it's like fairly clean for being a romance. But then I was watching someone talk about this book and they said that the guy is actually really annoying and doesn't respect her at the beginning and just treats her badly. And I don't like to hear that. So I don't know. I, I think I will give it a go, but I kind of anticipate that I'm going to DNF it. But we'll see. I just liked that it was set where I live. I've heard great things. I think this is actually a series. I think there's more books. So I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. But yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts if you have read this and what it's like. Okay, another race book I got. So you want to talk about race? Really have no idea how to say that name. And I've never heard anyone say the name. So I don't know how to pronounce it. When I like talk about my review of it, I will look up how to say the author's name, but. Okay, this was another one of the popular books that was talked about um, back in June. And my vice principal actually has this in her office and I saw it and I'm like, oh, okay, so she likes it. So I just think this is kind of a, a good one to read. I don't really know, I guess it's, is it for white people? So it says widespread reporting on aspects of white supremacy from police brutality to the mass incarceration of black Americans has put a media spotlight on racism in our society. So yeah, this looks like it's meant for white people to read and how you address racism in yourself but then also in the people that you hang out with. I, I hope that it exposes things in me that I don't even know are there. It's a really like eye-catching book too. So anyways, I'm excited to read this one too. Okay, I already showed this one, but maybe this time by Casey West. I I could read this right now. I could start this and finish it today. I really, I, I might. <laughs> I'm really excited, I don't know. Since reading the Casey West books I have been, I'm just like, Casey West, you're so good at writing romance. In not a cheesy way, in just a really cute way. So yeah, um, this one's about weddings, I think. This girl works for a wedding planning company and then she meets a guy, you know, the typical stuff. All right, and here is The Kingdom of Back. What a beautiful book. I hope I love it so that I can justify buying it because man, it'd be really nice to own this book. It's so pretty, definitely excited. Okay, and then a bunch of people that I follow on Goodreads reviewed this book last year and they were like, it's like an ode to book lovers and introverts. And I'm like, that is me. So it's called Book Love by Debbie Tung. It's a graphic novel. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> so cute. 
Um, so I hope that I like it. <laughs> I think I will. This girl's so cute and she's surrounded by books. She looks very happy. <laughs> okay, then these books are by the same author. And this one, you might recognize the style of the cover. Um, let's see if I can put up a picture. <laughs> so I own the book Hunted. Wouldn't really know where it is right now, so I'll just put up a picture because that's nice. So I've talked about Hunted before, but it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and it's a really good one. Um, it's just a standalone fantasy book. And she has another one, and it's called Sherwood, or Sherwood? Sherwood, probably. Because it's based on Robin Hood, but it follows a girl version. I don't know if the girl is Robin Hood or if she is... Oh, it's about her pretending to be Robin Hood. I like it. I like it. And then also she has another book and I think this is either a duology or maybe even a trilogy. But this is called Skylark. I have no idea what it's about. Um, but there you go. It's a pretty book. Yeah. So look at all these books. Um, yeah. Plus my February TBR. It's great. I really think I could read all of these this month. I really do. Because I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it. But also guys, I wish that we could go places, you know? I wish there was stuff happening. I wish we could go to church. Like my churches are still not open. So I'm not even going to church right now. It's really, it, it's hard to live alone and have no one to see. So I'm really thankful for this YouTube channel. It gives me something to do, people to talk to online because it's better than nothing. And you guys are so sweet. So yeah, Um. okay. So thank you for watching this video, you guys. God bless you and have a really good day. Bye.